cars are moving like a half a mile an hour And I started staring at the passengers and waving goodbye Can you tell me what was ever really special about me all this time? and doing multiple 2Ks on the ERG. Um, it's been more about the friendships I've built. Um, I've met some of my best friends here on Marquette Crew, and um, it's about the good times, not always the hard, horrible 2Ks, um, but instead the drives, the 16-hour drives, the vans, um, spring break, all the good times. Um, is what really Marquette Crew has um, left instilled on me. And thinking about the past three years that I've rowed, I can't really think back to freshman year when I didn't row. Um, I can't imagine all the time I used to have, um, but when I think back on my college career, Marquette Crew will be a very large part that I will remember. <laughs> I've been rowing for all four years, both semesters. I've been rowing for two years and two springs because I only like sprinting. Yeah. So it's really all she's good at too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. That's what I thought. So anyway, um, I've really enjoyed rowing. Um, I can go with the friendships and the sport, etc. But my favorite part is probably spring break. And. Uh, Besides the rowing on spring break, just spring break in general. Um, yeah. Spending time with uh, all your buddies. I don't know, friends, friends, friends. But for realsies, like, friends are yeah. the major component of crew for me. I roomed with um, one of my besties my sophomore year, and it was the craziest, um, most challenging at the same time uh, experiences, I guess. It's like some of the best bonds because you experience something with these people that you don't have with anyone else on campus. Yeah. You, you get up at weird hours. Yeah, you wake up really pissed. To is you pay way too much for. Yeah. But love it. <laughs> love it. Take that back. Hey. Love it. <laughs> yeah, every morning I wake up absolutely upset with the world, but then by the end of practice I remember why I yeah. do it. So if you ever get to that point, just remember it's all worth it in the end. It's nice mm -hmm. to find your peace of mind out on the water when you're out like rowing in the harbor or whatever. It is really nice. And so, yeah, I think that's good. You've listened to us talk long enough. Yeah, we don't have anything else. I'd say the one thing I like most about rowing, the one thing that you need to like most about rowing if you're, if you're a coxswain is you get down to the water every day and you push off the dock. It's dark. All you get are the city lights. You're just looking at the guy right in front of you. You start rowing and everything clicks. Everybody's together and there's nothing better in this world than the sound of the rush of the oars in the water, clunk as they come out, the rush of the bubbles under the boat after each perfect stroke. And everybody is going to have their, their troubles in crew. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs, but you've got to come down to that boathouse and you've got to find that one thing that you love about it. 
and pursuing that perfect stroke that, you know, thousands of times every practice. You know, it's, that's why I come down to the boathouse and have for the last seven years of my life and why I'm going to continue for the next however long they let me stay. Well, I first learned about Marquette Crew at O-Fest my junior year. I transferred here and I, I really didn't know anyone and I wanted to get involved some way at school and I saw, I first learned about Marquette Crew at O-Fest my junior year. I transferred here and I was looking for a way to get involved uh, with a team and meet new people. And I noticed that the crew team was kind of the loudest, they had a lot of smiles on their faces, and they just seemed to have a good unity. So I was immediately drawn to that and signed up. I came the first day not knowing anything about rowing. I saw the sport on the Olympics once, but really didn't know what I was in for. And it worked out to be like one of the best decisions I've made in my college experience. And I've made so many friends. I've become super fit and just had so many great experiences between road trips, going to Boston to compete at Head of the Charles, spring break, and just random you know, outings with my teammates. It's just so much fun, and I look back at all the pictures from the senior year, and there's always one person from crew in it. And I really don't think I would have gotten that experience with any other organization here at Marquette. So, like I said, Marquette Crew is probably the best decision I ever made these last couple of years. I'm going to get sentimental, guys. Um, rowing has probably been what's made my college career um, one of two things, anyways. And I don't know what type of person I'd be now, where I'd be, um, but I'm just very grateful for um, having uh, been on it for four years, made the friends I've uh, made, had the experiences I've had, and uh, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. So I hope you all will miss me because I'll miss all of you. The end.
I don't know if you guys are the greatest bunch of kids that prefer words. You guys are the greatest. <laughs> well, I started rowing just because I saw in the Olympics 2006. And that, and that. <laughs> well, I started rowing because I saw in the Olympics over in Athens. Didn't actually see it, I'm not that rich. And decided this would be a cool sport. Came to Marquette, saw the guys holding up those weird sticks. Uh, decided to join. Uh, ever since, never looked back. Actually, gave me a career. Currently in the Puerto Rican national team, and actually, they actually pay me. They employ me. So, growing does get you places. And actually, you meet a lot of nice people. Our coach is actually a very po very powerful man in manpower. He can help you in your resume. I got, well, got a bunch of engineers, a bunch of people that can help me, you know, and the who's up, man. But. In general, you're gonna like it, you're gonna love it, and if you can't understand me, subtitles will be provided for you. Uh, that's my experience, it's been fun. I'm the only one left, oh boy, Alec. From 06, so stick in there, you're gonna have fun. Um, Marquette Rowing has meant a lot of different things to me over the years. Um, when I first came here as a freshman, I thought it was gonna be where I met every single one of my very best friends and um, I've met a lot of my very best friends but not every single one of them. Uh, junior year I was so sick of it I almost I almost had to just quit which I didn't because I went abroad which I would recommend for everyone study abroad because that way you won't quit rowing. While I was gone I realized how much I loved it and, would mi and did miss it and I came back and I am in full force. Um, taught me how to fundraise, which was huge. I, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but the one semester that I was the fundraising chair of the Marquette rowing team, we raised $5,000. Five comma, zero, 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 dollars. Um, so that's pretty impressive. It's taught me to um, get things in on time and pay for regattas. Registration fees and waivers are important. These are all new concepts to me. It's totally um, unaware of that. It's going to be my only job next year, hopefully. Um, so that'll be good. With my subsistence. <laughs> Don't work. Um, there's not very much money in rowing coaching. Um, it's giving me a hot body, sex appeal. Um, rowing is a painful, boring, um, soul-sucking thing. And for some reason, you know, we all keep, keep getting up at four in the morning, in the freezing rain, and sitting on our asses, and moving backwards for hours at a time. And I don't know why we do it, but we seem to. And I'm just really glad that all of you have done it with me. Check.